Hello, everyone. I'm Lena E. This is my art portfolio presentation for the assignment one. The areas I chose to cover are visual art, where I will discuss a painting by a renowned Chinese artist Zhang Daqian, music, where I will talk about the famous music "A Thousand Galloping Horses" by Qi Bezhe, and dance, where I would be talking about a traditional Mongolian dance Bezhe. Now I'd like to talk about a painting that I find particularly fascinating. It's called "Landscape After Wang Ximeng" and was painted by Zhang Daqian, also known as the Picasso of the East, back in 1948. Zhang was renowned for his incredibly detailed paintings, and this one is no exception. What's interesting about this piece is that it was painted on silk, and is currently housed in the Palace Museum in Beijing, where it's considered a national treasure for the Chinese people. It's truly a remarkable work of art, and I encourage you to take a closer look if you ever get the chance. This painting was inspired by another painting called "A Thousand Li of Rivers and Mountains" by a contemporary Chinese artist named Wang Ximeng. The painting by Zhang Daqian shows a panoramic view of two river banks, as well as its surrounding mountains, trees, and rocks through usage of conventional vibrant colors and bold brushwork. This painting was made when the painter was at his peak of skills. Where he mastered and combined the ink painting methods of the Tang, Song, and Yuan dynasties, along with Western art forms Impressionism and Fauvism. Moreover, he has also incorporated a range of traditional Chinese painting techniques, which include ink washes, freehand brushwork, dotting, along with the use of gold leaf. Here, the first photo shows the use of vibrant colors, which was generally not done in Chinese paintings. It also shows the painter's talent with the detailed work on the leaves of trees. In the second picture, we see seagulls hidden in the sea waves, which shows how intricately detailed these paintings are. Here is the first photo we can see golden color on the sea that depicts sun rays falling on it, and in the second picture we can see a forest hidden between the mountains, which is a testament to why Zhang Daqian is one of the best painters in China. The painting had influences from various Chinese and Western forms of art discussed previously, as well as the work of other artists such as Wang Ximeng. The artist had used an innovative approach that has managed to bridge the gap between the past and present, because of its amalgamation of both traditional and modern Chinese painting techniques, which has pushed the boundaries of traditional Chinese painting while still honoring its rich history and heritage. I personally feel that this painting gives a message of beauty, of unity in diversity, as the painter has used various forms of art that would conventionally not be used together, and created this beautiful masterpiece. For music, I have chosen a famous Mongolian music called "Thousands of Galloping Horses," composed by the renowned artist Qi Bezhe in 1960s. Qi Bezhe is a well-known artist who has been a pioneer of Mongolian metal horn music. This music has been composed using traditional Mongolian instruments. The metal horn is also known as a horse head fiddle. The tune of this music evokes images of horses galloping through the grasslands. The music has been inspired by the rich cultural heritage of Mongolians, where horses have been an integral part for centuries. Here are the musical instruments used for thousands of galloping horses. In the first picture, we have metal horn, also known as the horse head fiddle. It is a traditional Mongolian string instrument that has a carved horse head at the top of the neck. It is played with a bow and produces a unique sound that is instantly recognizable. 
In the second picture, we have top shoulder. Which has a long and narrow wooden body with two strings that are made of horsehair. The strings are played with a plectrum, which is usually made of bone, horn, or ivory. It has a distinctive sound, which is characterized by its deep, resonant tones. Today, both the instruments continue to be a popular instrument in Mongolia. And has gained recognition and popularity. The composition of this music is based on traditional Mongolian music forms and styles. The song begins by introducing melody on the menohor, with lively and flowing character that reflects the movements of horses in motion. The melody repeats with variations throughout the piece. Then the top shoot is played, which drives the rhythm forward and adds to the overall energy of the piece. Its rhythm varies throughout the song, with moments of intensity and moments of rest. Different instruments take turns playing the lead melody, showcasing the unique sound of each instrument and adding to the overall tense textures and complexity of the music. Then the music finally concludes with a repetition of the melody and a gradual winding down of the rhythmic pulse, bringing the piece to a peaceful close. Thousands of Galloping Horses is a beloved and iconic piece of Mongolian music. The inspiration of this music and its title come from a horse race that composer saw when he was 18 years old at a Nadam fair. Horses have long been a symbol of freedom, strength, and the nomadic way of life, and they have a special status in Mongolia, which has greatly influenced the creation of this music. It is also a tribute to the rich musical traditions of Mongolia, based on traditional Mongolian music forms and styles, to create a piece of music that is deeply rooted in Mongolian culture and history. For the dance, I have chose a Mongolian traditional dance that has been passed down through generations called Beiligo. It has been originated in the nomadic tribes of Mongolia. The word Beiligo means a combination of dance movements. It is a highly energetic dance that is characterized by its rapid footwork and acrobatic movements, usually performed in traditional Mongolian clothing and accompanied by music played on traditional instruments like the maronkhor. Bilug is an important part of Mongolian culture and is often performed at cultural events and celebrations. The dance typically begins with a slow rhythmic section that gradually builds in intensity as the dancers increase their speed and the complexity of their movements, featuring several distinct sections, each with its own rhythm and the style of movement. It ends with a dramatic flourish, with the dancers leaping and spinning to the final notes of the music. The dance often includes elements of storytelling, with the dancers using their movements and gestures to convey a narrative or a particular emotion. The Beiduk has also gained recognition beyond Mongolia, with performances and competitions held in other countries around the world. Due to its high physical demands, with its rapid footwork and acrobatic movements. It has promoted physical fitness and agility among Mongolian youth who practice the dance. And here are the references I used in the presentation. This is the end of the presentation. Thanks for watching.